In this video, you will see how to install a Greek polytonic keyboard. Hi, Rob McIver here. Let's talk about why you need a Greek polytonic keyboard, and then I will show you two demonstrations. The first will be how to use Microsoft Word to access all the combinations of vowels and breathing marks and iota subscripts and accents. By itself, that's probably going to convince you that you do need a Greek polytonic keyboard. And the second will be a demonstration of actually installing a Greek polytonic keyboard. You will notice I've listed a time next to each of the sections of this video. This means that you can skip ahead if you would like to. OK, let's begin with a question. Why would you want to install a Greek polytonic keyboard? Well, the answer is simple, really. If you want to type words from the New Testament Greek or Classical Greek, you are going to need either a special font or a special keyboard. It is much easier to use a keyboard than a special font. I know this from my own experience. At a time before the widespread use of Unicode fonts and the Greek polytonic keyboard, I was acting as moderator of a number of units scattered across Australia. As part of this process, a Greek teacher at an individual college would send me a copy of their Greek exam. I could only read this if I had the correct font installed, and it turns out that every second college seemed to have a separate font that they were using. As you can imagine, this made it enormously difficult to share documents that had Greek words embedded in them. But all this changed with Unicode fonts and the Greek polytonic keyboard. Unicode fonts such as Arial, Calibri and Times New Roman have all the characters you need to type words in many languages, including English, Hebrew and Greek. As a consequence, if you use a Unicode font to type a Greek word into a document, it can be read on other computers and uploaded to the internet. This has made everything much easier. Now before we go ahead and install a keyboard, I thought you'd be very interested to see how to use Microsoft Word to enter Greek words that include accents. For example, I'm going to enter the Greek word for Christ Christos into a Microsoft Word document. On the right hand side of the insert menu in Microsoft Word, you will see symbols. Choose, choose other symbols. And there's a listing there of all the different options that are available to you, including Greek. I've chosen Latin just to show you how far down you have to go to find the Greek. <clears throat> Here we are, we're getting closer. And uh, the first letter I'm looking for is the capital Chi, isn't it? So here we go. There is Chi. Insert that. The next letter is Rho. It's lowercase. Oh, oops, oops, I went down instead of up. So let's go up. And there it is. And I've sped this up a bit. So we insert Krista. And then we need to find an Omicron with an accent. And again, I've got to go searching for them. All the way down here, getting closer. Here they are. Here they are. And I find a Omicron with an acute accent. And I add it. Add. Insert a final sigma. And finally, we have the Greek word Christos. Close on that. A bit bigger for you. You can admire it. You've got to agree with me. This is slow. <laughs> yes, it's just so much faster to use a Greek polytonic keyboard. OK, point made. Let's now install a Greek polytonic keyboard. System preferences. Good. Language and region. 
mouse in keyboard language oh, and language region region oh here we go add preferred language plus down the bottom it says uh, oh here yeah no Oops. just try add right Great there it is time. yes add input source and that's it so you should be able to move between one and the other okay now that you've got the keyboard installed you might be interested to know how to make using it easier i have two other videos that might be interesting to you let me read their titles how to type the alphabet on the greek polytonic keyboard and how to add accents breathing marks ida subscripts etc using a Greek polytonic keyboard. You can most easily find these videos by either subscribing to my YouTube channel at NT Greek Made Easier or by following me on x.com at Rob McIver 2024. The videos follow chapter two of my book Beginning New Testament Greek Made Easier. This book is available on Amazon.com and at other retailers that I will mention in the note. Just make sure you get the most recent edition. Let me say that if you've viewed these videos and done the exercise in the book, you will have pretty much mastered the use of the Greek polytonic keyboard. And hey, if you found this video useful, why not let me know by either clicking on the like button below or by clicking on the heart icon. Thank you.